And the last one, kind of piggybacking off that, um, because of them being objectified, I didn't really have a lot of healthy relationships with men, like outside of my brothers and my dad and a few other male figures in, in my life. It was difficult because, you know, I was used to people looking at me, especially men looking at me in a sexual nature. And um, whether I wanted to be a friend or not, it, it kind of tainted the relationship and um, made me very less likely to open myself up or let my guard down or let somebody in because it got always seemed like they had some kind of ulterior motive to, you know, get me in their bed. And, you know, I didn't make the best decisions in regards to men a lot, you know, largely because of being molested. And um, I just know now, I know much better. I thank God for wisdom and I'm not doing those same things anymore. I'm not allowing myself to feel victimized or feel like I have to um, be sexually involved with somebody against my will or that I have to say yes or I have to acquiesce to their desires. Um, I'm just thankful to be free. Like I'm, I'm not that person anymore. <laughs> and I just love who I am now because at the end of the day, all I can be is me. And so I hope that this will help you to get some freedom about it and acknowledge that the feelings that you have are not um, abnormal. These are things that people who have been molested or been sexually abused, raped, um, any form of sexual assault, these are normal feelings, the normal things that you deal with, normal things that you keep inside. But as you talk about them, that's how you get your freedom. As you talk about them and address them, that's how you can overcome and be a victor and uh, not succumb to the victim mentality. And I just really hope that these are encouraging somebody to speak up and speak out against what they went through so that way they can get free and not let that thing control their life anymore. Because for many, many years, this controlled me. This dictated my decisions, dictated how I live, dictated the relationships I got into, the people I allowed myself to be involved with, both platonic and romantically. And I don't want that anymore for me. I don't want that for my nieces. I don't want that for any little girl I come in contact with. I don't want that for the boys because molestation does tremendous things to them too. And I just want them to be free, to be children, free to be able to grow up in healthy environments. And if we start shining a light on the devil, what he's doing through this, through incest, through uh, child abuse, pornography, and all of that stuff, if we shine the light on a perversion, then people can get free. People can stop being uh, ashamed or hiding or feeling guilty when it's not anything they did. So that's, that's the whole purpose behind this. God has freed me and is continuing to free me. I want other people to be free. Like um, One of the things I've been saying a lot lately is being like Harriet Tubman. She got her freedom and she went back and freed other people. God has freed me and I want to get other people free. I want y'all to see with your spiritual eyes so that you can see the different things that we're facing. That the stuff that's happening is not just for a coincidence. It's been going on for years and ignorance is one of the greatest tools of the enemy and if you don't know you will mindlessly be um become a victim to attack so with that said that's all i have y'all i hope y'all have a blessed day love y'all